If you hood educated, I'm glad you made it. Allow me to unfold my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from a hood nigga's point of view to all of you here, there, and everywhere. Now check me out. Now listen, y'all. One thing we got to understand about this whole Lil Dirk situation is this right here, right? Um, a lot of people are saying that they dismissed the case on Lil Dirk because there was a lack of evidence, right? Some people are saying that the witnesses stopped uh, cooperating, right? But anybody that knows the criminal justice system, I'm talking about prosecutors have no problem with saying that, hey, it was a lack of evidence. That's why we dismissing the case. Prosecutors have no problem saying, hey, the witness are no longer cooperating with us, so we got to dismiss the case. They have no problem with saying that, right? And Fannie Willis, dismissal of Lil Dirt charges, she didn't say nothing about that. She didn't say nothing about uh, the witnesses are not cooperating. She did not say that uh, uh, there was a lack of evidence to convict. She didn't say none of that. But why? Why wouldn't she say that? Right? Because those are good reasons to dismiss a case. But she didn't say that. She just said that prosecutorial discretion and left it at that right there. Let me explain to y'all why she didn't say that there was a lack of evidence and why she didn't say that witnesses are no longer cooperating. Check it out. Now, as y'all can see, that's Bezu. That is Lil Dirk, homie, and co-defendant on the case down there in Atlanta, still charged right now to this day with that case. Huh? Hold on, wait a minute. No, look, wait. Hold on, hood educated, you tripping. Listen, I just showed y'all. I just showed it to y'all. That man, Bezu, THF Bezu, is still charged. But look, the uh, Lil Dirk case got dismissed. That's the type of shit that make you go, damn, hold on, wait a minute, man. I mean, what the fuck? Like, they co-defendants. It's motherfuckers actually saying that they seen Lil Dirk put in work. It's motherfuckers, you know, actually saying that, you know, his car was there. There's witnesses placing him at the scene. There's witnesses saying that he was shooting a gun and all this shit. But Lil Dirk case get dismissed. Bezu, ain't nobody said Bezu did a motherfucking thing. He just was there. He just guilty by association. But his case is not dismissed. He still charged. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking like, hey, we partners, we, you know, we, we like this here. Your case get dismissed. My case get dismissed. That's how it go. How in the hell that they ain't got no evidence against you and the witnesses and all that old type of shit. Don't nobody want to work and, and, and put you away, but everybody still pointing the finger at me. How does that work, y'all? Now, if Lil Durk wasn't there, I understand that. If Lil Durk is actually innocent, that he was at a bowling alley some motherfucking where else, and he wasn't at the varsity that night when that shit went on, then I say, well, shit, Durk wasn't there, man. So no wonder they dropped the case on Durk. He was not there. He's innocent. He didn't do it. But that's not the case, y'all. We got people placing him at the scene of the crime. Not to mention... Gang activity. Remember, those was one of the charges. So then none of them stick. 
The gang activity shit ain't stick. The felony in possession of a gun didn't stick. But we gonna dismiss all the charges against Lil Dirk, but this nigga Bezu. Nah, uh-uh, nigga. So that's why in her dismissal of Lil Dirk charges, she didn't mention none of that type of shit. Oh, there's a lack of evidence. She didn't say that. The witnesses are not cooperating. She didn't say that. She just said prosecutorial discretion. That's it. And left it like that. And so now y'all want the world to just, hey, shit, fuck it, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shit happens like that. Come on, man. Come on. We hood niggas. We hood educated, not lame related. Come on. We on the case together. Motherfuckers are saying you did more shit than anybody. But all your charges get dropped. I'm still charged. That don't look right. That don't sit right. Come on, man. Now, I'm not saying nothing. Y'all got to say it. Y'all know. I can't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? But I do know one plus one is two. I, I know how to add and shit like that. And so, hold on. Let me get to this right here because I know y'all finna all be all. No, hood educated. Bezu out. Bezu out right now, bro. What you talking about? The pistol cases got dropped. You a motherfucking lie. Check it out. Huh? What? Bezu out, huh? Didn't that thing say that that man was still in custody? Huh? Uh, when is court date? Uh, November 7th, 2022. Huh? Where, where he out of custody at? I mean, he out or what's going on? We dealing with facts here. We deal with facts. This not just me talking. This is uh, Cook County documents. This, they shit. The documents that I showed you before, that's Fulton County documents. That's they shit. We deal with facts here. We hood educate. We don't just talk and do all that old bullshit. Come on. That man is still locked up for them goddamn guns down there. And Dirk ass just got all five felonies dismissed. But his homeboy <laughs> is still facing all them goddamn charges. This hood educated, not lame related. Peace and love, and y'all take care of yourself out there. And to all, let me, hood educated guests and hood educated residents, let me speak to the gangsters real fast. Y'all give me a moment. I got to give these niggas some game. Uh, if you out there playing in them streets, gang banging, selling dope, or doing whatever you doing, uh, it would be wise. I'm talking about real wise. For you to police your own home, boys. What you mean, hood educated, man? Listen, if your homeboy steady getting caught with drugs and pistols and shit like that, and this nigga not going to jail, you need to be trying to figure shit out. Every time one of my homeboys got caught on some shit, I want to know great details about the case. Nigga, what happened? Where you get caught at? Did they take your phone? Did they ask you about me? Do they know where the spot at? Do they know my car? They know your car? How long they been watching you? Do they know me and you did this? Do they know me and you be doing this right here? Did they question you anything? I'm, I'm talking about, listen, I'm investigating niggas. Why? Because that's what you got to do if you in them streets. You can't be fucking around like that. All you niggas that's out there in them streets that seeing your homeboys go to jail and y'all ain't policing this nigga and seeing what's going on with this nigga, don't be mad. Don't be mad. When all the time this nigga working and shit like that and building cases against you and shit like that, then you, man, I should have known, man, because this nigga got locked up for a gun and then he got out and then nigga ain't been to court in 900 years, man. I should have known. Yeah, you should have known. 
But you wanted to ignore it. Why? Because somebody told y'all that it's real nigga shit not to investigate your own motherfucking homies. And whoever taught you that is a bullshit ass nigga. This hood educated, not lame related. Peace and love and y'all take care of yourself out there. Y'all go on there, check out that merch. Continue to support the channel because y'all know I'm going to bring it to you raw. Peace and love.